if like once you're in your suit, you gotta pee really bad. It's an adult diaper. They can pee in their suits, but they can't take a dump. I mean, they could. <laughs> that is some next level shit. Hey guys, I'm here at Final Frontier Design in Brooklyn where I am about to put on a spacesuit. They also said that I'm going to Mars, which I'm not quite sure if that's a threat or not, but let's go find out. So we are here at Final Frontier Design with Virgil. So Virgil, tell me a little bit about what you do here. Uh, we are a private design studio. We um, make safety garments for the commercial uh, spacesuit and space flight industry. Do you guys ever see stuff in the movies where you're like, well, that's not necessarily reality, but that would be cool. The influence of science fiction on, on the spacesuits is, is just inevitable. Movies like Independence Day show how a lot of the science can be included into you know, the more entertaining, more Hollywood aspects. I don't know if we'll be weaponizing spacesuits and, and having those kind of ships in That's what battles. my email asked for, <laughs> Virgil. That is definitely bigger than the last one. Today we're doing what we call our spacesuit experience. Um, we are going to put you inside of our IVA suit, so intravehicular activity suit. I'm ready to feel awesome. <laughs> Where's your hero pose, Virgil? Oh. This is the suit. It's wearing its cover layer. Underneath is the pressure garment. Okay. This will be in contact with your body. We have no less than two staff members, technicians, watching uh, during the suit. So experience. what you're saying is you're not trustworthy enough just to be my Redundancy. one. Redundancy. Redundancy is important. <laughs> On a scale of one to awesome right now, I'm at a five. We're getting there, Virgil. We're getting there. Yeah. Virgil said I was supposed to look attractive when I had this stuff on. You look on. great, you look great. You're I do. Great. Level of awesome right now. I am probably at a seven. This is a pretty awesome day. Have you ever taken someone on a date here? Because I think if this was a first date, you would win. Um, Everything. So there are a number of trade secrets in the space industry. And uh, you know, we can't tell about anything. <laughs> We're at a level eight now, guys. Gloves are on. All right, so that snap right there means you're fully enclosed. You're gonna see the suit grow around oh. you a little bit. Do you feel that? I and feel so, like I'm like the Stay Puft Tiffany. Can you walk towards me a little bit, slowly? How are you feeling that way? Yep, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now walk backward a little bit, slowly. Oh, geez. Yeah? You're trying to get tricky on me now, huh, Virgil? There you go. Want, okay, so I want you, can you try to touch your toes a little bit? Go ahead and I'll fight the suit. You can I bend can't. past the suit. Yeah. It's stuck on, it's going at my butt, Virgil. Yes. There you go. Hey! Yes! All right. If like once you're in your suit, you gotta pee really bad. So the uh, astronauts wear mags, maximum absorbency garments, and so it's, it's an adult diaper. They can pee in their suits, but they can't take a dump. I mean, they could. That is some next level shit. I don't want to get out, Virgil. <laughs> I want to stay in here forever. Turn your head sideways. How you feeling there? I feel like I've come back to Earth and I want to go back to Mars like real bad. So do I look attractive? Pretty phenomenal. How does my butt look? Oh, well, it looks like it has the joint in the right place. <laughs> Thank you so much, Virgil. Our pleasure. You're welcome anytime. All right, I'm going to take you up on that. Bye. I'm going to need that back at some point. Can someone help me through the door?